Greetings programs. This is Wretch and welcome to Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game. This is based off the awesome card game. I actually own this in real life and when I saw that this game was available on Steam after the holiday se season, I couldn't resist getting it. Um, the premise, very simple. You lead a team of superheroes to take on a big baddie in hoping of saving the world. So, can't get more cut and dry than that. So let's go ahead and do a new game. And welcome, please play the tutorial to get started. We don't need no stinking tutorials. But I have played the game before, so... So we have a choice between Baron Blade, Citizen Dawn, Grand Wardlord Voss, and Omnitron, just like the initial edition of the board of the card game. So, we are going to choose... Baron Blade, the Terra Lunar Impulsion Beam Inventor. So as you can see, um, he has a setup. At the start of the game, Baron Blade enters play. Terra Lunar Impulsion Beam Inventor side up. They, these cards have two sides. One mobile defense platform is put into play. The villain deck is shuffled. At the start of the villain turn, if there are 15 or more cards in the villain trash, Baron Blade's Terra Lunar Explosion Beam activates, pulling the moon into Earth and game over. Uh, when Baron Blade would be destroyed, his villain character card flips to the vengeful mad scientist side instead. At the end of the villain turn, ta the top hero minus two cards of the villain deck are discarded. So it's a difficulty of one. We're going to go ahead and take him. Ah. Okay, no variants. I see. Okay, so let's go ahead and... No, no, no. Not Citizen Dawn. Let's get back to Baron Blade here. There we are. And we won't do an advance so much. Heroes. And you can see here we have absolute zero. Well, here, let me show you guys. We've got the, bu the indestructible bunker and the cards look just like comic book covers. How awesome is that? And also shows the complexity to play them. Absolute zero. And this represents their initial health, like the issue number here. We'll put these guys back in, just so we can show you the rest of them. Fanatic. I normally play Fanatic when I play this game. The Savage Haka. America's Finest Legacy. Got the, you know, one if by land, two if by sea lantern. The Mighty Ra, God of the Sun, another one I play normally. Tachyon, the quickest woman on Earth. The Inhuman Tempest, who looks kind of like Kit Fisto and Cthulhu had a child together. The Visionary. The Wraith, who's kind of a Batman type character. So we got quite a few to go. So I think for the purposes of this game, we're going to get heroes with a difficulty of one. Uh, Zero is not a difficulty of one. He's actually one of the hardest. So three to five heroes, huh? Let's go ahead and go with the middle with four. So, Legacy is a complexity of one. We need the Superman. We need the Batman. And... Fanatic's a difficult complexity of two, isn't she? Oh, we can actually flip the card. That's awesome. Let's get you back up here. Tempest, are you a one? Complexity of one. We need our Aquaman. Hmm... This is what happens when they get knocked out. They have these abilities, which are awesome. Um, hmm. Let's get... I want Raw, just because that's who I normally play. And I think we'll even it out. We'll have two guys and two girls. Well, how much is Tachyon? Tachyon's a complexity of two. Visionaries of two. I'll tell you what, we need a... Let's go ahead and get Tempest. Let's get our Aquaman here. And we'll randomize our environment. Ah! Didn't want to randomize everything. Let's get Baron Blood back here. Or Baron Blade, excuse me. Get our... Heroes that we wanted originally. There we go. Four heroes in the Insula Primalis, which is, I guess, the Savage Land. Looks good. Hello, Baron Blade. 
At last, the destruction of my greatest foe is at hand. Legacy, legacies shall fall. Stand down, Baron. The price of your hatred should not be the entire planet. Actually, I think they, these guys are arch enemies. You guys have anything interesting to say? Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and start the game. Okay, mobile defense platform. Health of 10. Baron Blade is immune to damage. And slash and burn. Baron Blade deals the hero target with the lowest HP. Baron Blade deals the hero target with the lowest HP. 4 melee damage. Baron Blade deals the hero target with the highest HP. 6 fire damage. Um... Let's go ahead and give Tempest the damage. So, yeah, let's confirm that. So he just took a punch. Baron Blade initiates six fire damage to Legacy. Baron, okay, so Legacy got smacked. And then, oh, that's cool. Then the page turns when it's our turn. I like it. Okay, what do we have for cards here? Legacy? Each player draws a card. That's a one-shot. Ongoing limited. One-shots can be played just like normal. Legacy deals up to three targets, three melee damage each. Whenever a hero target would be dealt damage by a villain card, you may re redirect that damage to Legacy. Oh, you got equipment. Cool. So, let's go ahead and play that. And Legacy play on... What do you have for your uh, power? Until the start of your turn, increase damage dealt by hero targets by one. Seems like he does a lot of buffing. So, let's use the power. And we'll use Galvanize. And we draw a card. Legacy is immune to damage from environment cards. Alright, now it's time for the Wraith. And power. The Wraith deals one target, three projectile damage. Draw four cards, then discard two cards. And the, the eye, grappling hook. Let's do some damage here. And what is your power? Reduce the next damage that would be dealt by dealt to the Wraith by two. Nice. But we are gonna go ahead and use this power. And we're going to do this on the mobile defense platform. So we did four damage to the platform. He has six life left. And impromptu invention. And we can look at that here in a bit. But we have... Oh, he's got the Staff of Raw. Awesome. When this card enters play, Raw regains 3 HP, increased damage dealt by Raw by 1. We're not going to use the Staff of Raw until he gets hit. Um, up to 5 other targets, 1 fire damage each. Ooh, there we go, a fire blast. I'm gonna do that. And blast the mobile defense platform. Awesome. And the platform was destroyed because of the buff from Legacy. I like it. Now we can focus on him. So what do we have for the power? Raw deals one target, two fire damage. And we will blast Baron Blade. So three damage because of Legacy's Galvanize. Oh, we got another fire blast. Outstanding. Now, let's look at Tempest here. What do you have? You have any one-shot? Chain Lightning. Okay, just like Shaman style, so we'll wait for multiple targets for that. Each hero target regains 2 HP. Okay, so he's a healer, essentially. Tempest, Grievous Hailstorm. Tempest deals each non-hero target 2 cold damage. Hmm. Let's have him on healing detail. Let's do cleansing downpour. And what is your one projectile damage? 
Let's go ahead and use Cleansing Downpour. And Legacy gains two. And Tempest gains two. And he gains another one in case that goes away. That's cool. Okay, now it's Baron Blade's turn. What nastiness is he going to have here? Primordial Plant Life. When this card enters play, each hero may destroy one of their cards. Uh, deal any hero that destroys an ongoing card two toxic damage. Any hero that does not destroy an ongoing card four toxic damage. Ooh. Well, that's cool. We will destroy that one. And first target to be dealt damage will have as raw. And not a whole lot that we can do here. Everyone else gets four damage. Now, this is him. Okay, another mobile defense platform. Awesome. And now it's our turn. Now, Booster Allies, Danger Sense, Flying Smash. Three targets, three melee damage each. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do a Flying Smash. Well, what's your... Okay. Yeah, might as well. And we'll do that to the... To three to the mobile weapons platform. And we'll stop dealing damage because he's immune right now. And... Oh, we can use additional power during the power phase. That's cool. We'll buff up everyone. And... Thok. <laughs> okay, Wraithy. What should we have here? Another equipment, more one-shot. Grappling hook. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use Trust Fund. It gives us Utility Belt. That's awesome. Another Utility Belt. Micro Targeting Computer. And Razor Ordnance. Now we need to discard two of these. So we will discard. Hmm. We'll discard the Grappling Hook. Yeah, grappling hook and one of the utility belts. And reduce the next damage. Yeah. We'll attack the weapon platform here. So it's almost done, fortunately. And another infrared eyepiece. Wraith has a ton of equipment that if you're able to get it on her, she is disgusting. Let's do... Hmm. Not sure. Let's do this. Let's give him the Staff of Raw. Gain 3 HP. Now, one target, three projectile damage. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to use the staff, and that will destroy the weapon platform. Boom. Oh, Staff of Raw was destroyed. Destroy one target with two or fewer HP. And what do you have here? Shielding Winds. Hailstorm. Yeah, let's do more cleansing uh, ability there. And actually, 
All non-hero, one projectile damage. Yeah, I need to keep the heals going. Now, Baron Blade's not taking any damage this turn, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Vicious Cyclone. Okay. Now, what's going on in the environment? Oh, more Primordial Plant Life. Groovy. Yeah, I'm going to skip it. I'm going to go ahead and just take the damage. And you can choose for me, because everyone's... Everyone's taking the damage. And what are you pulling? At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the hero target with the highest HP X melee damage. Ow! Okay, so Raw Ra just got thwacked. Alright, let's do... Let's do Thok. And we'll do that right to Baron Blade. For four. And then, we'll buff everyone up again. And by the way, this has a multiplayer also, which is very cool. Alright, equipment. Let's get utility belt going. Which gives us the ability to use two powers. So we will use Razor Ordnance. For four. And we can go ahead and use Stealth. And another Trust Fund. She is in the money. Okay, Ra. Let's do... Actually, let's have Ra just take out the battalion here. Yeah. Goodbye, Blade Battalion. And Ra can just go ahead and blast Blade. Destroy one target with two or fewer HP. Now, we have the ongoing ability. What's the Vicious Cyclone? No. Shielding Winds, Chain Lightning. Let's use that. Like I said, he's more of the healer. And Cleansing Downpour on all the team. Another vicious cyclone. Now, what do you have in store for us, Baron? River of Lava. At the end of the environment turn, each hero may destroy one of their equipment cards. Deal any hero that does not destroy an equipment card for fire damage. At the start of the environment turn, if each player discards the top three cards of their deck, destroy this card. Ouch. Um. No, everyone is going to take the damage. because we are taking Baron Blade down pretty quick. At the end of the turn, this card deals each hero target two projectile damage. Increased damage dealt by this card for one by each mobile defense platform in play. Okay. So, go ahead and choose for me. Doesn't matter because... Oh. Okay, so two was done to Wraith. I thought she had her stealth on. Oh well. Now you have seven. We have another Thok, don't we? Inspiring Presence. What does that do? When this card enters play, each hero target regains one. Okay. We're going to do that. Everyone gains health back. And we'll also. Everyone gets buffed. So these guys are going to be has the potential to do massive damage. Okay, Wraith. 
Let's do, what do you got? Increase projectile damage by two, yep. Now, let's use the power on the, on the turret. Ah, a straight seven. Excellent. And now we still have the ability to use another power because of our utility belt. And we can reduce power. And we have a mega computer now. Wraith's got all the toys. Now, put up to three cards from the environment trash to the bottom of the environment deck. You may draw as many cards as you move this way. Deals one target, three fire damage. Well, I guess we can go ahead and do that. Deal five damage to Baron Blade. Raw, select the first target. Uh, we can stop dealing damage. Confirm. So none of our guys get hit. And we'll use Pyre. For a good four on Baron Blade. He's down to 17, guys. We're doing great. Flesh of the Sun God. Raw is immune to fire damage. That's awesome. Now. Let's... Let's go ahead and th let's go ahead and use some chain lightning. Actually, how about a grievous hailstorm? And actually, uh, I already did it. Oh well. Cleansing rain. Increase damage dealt by Tempest to the villain target with the highest HP by two. Gene bound shackles. At the end of the environment turn, yeah, let's go ahead and discard three cards from our deck. And River of Lava is destroyed, so we don't have to deal with that. This card deals the non-environment target with the lowest HP X melee damage. Nice. The ra Raptors attacked Baron Blade. The first time Baron Blade is dealt damage by a target each turn. No, what was that? Backlash field. First time Baron Blade is dealt damage by a target each turn. Baron Blade deals that target three lightning damage. Ew. Well, what can we do with that? Each player draws a card. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll bolster our allies here. Uh, you can juice for me. Oh, got another one. Groovy. Wraith got Throwing Knives. Ra got another Flesh of the Sun God. And Tempest got Flash Flood. Cool. Let's go ahead and buff, us, buff everyone up. Now, you... We're definitely going to use our Throwing Knives. And now we have two powers that we can use, and I think we're just going to do nothing but damage. So... And we can't do it to... We have the Velociraptor... Actually, no. Let's do it to the Baron. Five damage to Baron Blade. Nice, we had stealth up. And we'll stop dealing damage. And Razor Ordnance onto the Baron as well. Actually, I think we should be good after this turn. Throat Jab. Cannot deal damage until the start of your next turn. That's sick. And it looks like Ra's going to be able to take the Baron out. Awesome. Destroy one target with two or fewer HP. Oh, that would have been amazing. Raw's immune to fire damage. Well, we'll go ahead and do that. Flesh of the Sun God. And... Goodbye, Baron Blade. It's about to get very toasty for you, sir. Uh, 
Okay, now, he is buffed up. Forgot that he switches over. Let's look at here. Vengeful Mad Scientist. When flipped to the side, Baron Blade's maximum HP is 30. Baron Blade is restored to 30 HP. The Villain Trash is placed on top of the Villain Deck. All three copies of Mobile Defense Platform are moved to the Villain Trash, and the Villain Deck is shuffled. At the end of the Villain turn, Baron Blade deals the hero target with the highest HP, 4 energy damage. So now he's just in ticked off, I'm going to blast people mode. So, let's go... We'll use Gene Bound Shackles to actually give him some damage. And... Everyone gets healed. Ball Lightning. Deals one target, four lightning damage. You may destroy up to two ongoing cards. Sweet. I know what we'll be doing next turn. Okay. Dealt four damage to Ra- Ow! Okay, Ra got smacked by... That's not nice. Slash and Burn. Deals the hero target with the lowest HP for... Holy crap! Okay. We're getting smacked now. Let's have Wraith take that damage. Okay. That was no bueno. So let's... Legacy deals one target, three melee damage. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll do that to Baron Blade. Oh, Inspiring Presence and a Nemesis. Okay, Motivational Charge. Got a lot of cards here. And Raw's in bad shape. Surge of Strength, increased damage dealt by Legacy by one. Okay. And... Okay, the Tar dealt this way cannot deal till the start of your next turn. Okay. Let's do a Throat Jab. Right to Baron Blade. Throw jab prevented the damage. Nice. Now. Three targets, one projectile damage each. Not really our thing. We want to focus all of our DPS. Right on Baron. And we dealt seven projectile damage. Oh, and we can do it again. And we'll use stealth. And more throwing knives. See, she's a mobile weapons platform after a while. It's sick. Um, Rod deals each non-hero target X fire damage. Hmm. Destroy one target with two or fewer HP. Not a whole lot I can do there. We'll do Vengeful Gaze, and... We'll just go ahead and blast the Baron again. And Throat Jab prevented the damage. Well, good. So I was, I was wondering if it was just going to be during Wraiths. And more Fire of the Gods, or Skin of the Gods, or whatever. Destroy up to two Environment cards. So I'll use Flash Flood and destroy both Velociraptors. We just Flash Flooded them and they went flying, they went, you know, surfing to another spot. And, as usual, more cleansing downpours for everyone. Now, the Baron can't do any damage. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals a target other than itself with the second highest HP, 5 melee damage. Uh, which card should take effect first? Let's go ahead and do Shielding Winds. Confirm. <laughs> One damage to the Wraith. Yay. 
Did some flipping. Okay, Blade Battalion. So, what are you guys gonna do? Blade, four energy damage. Blade Battalion dealt three melee damage to Tempest. That's not nice. And you only have ten left, right? So... Deals one target, two melee damage. Each hero target regains... Increased damage dealt from Legacy by one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a motivational charge. And Legacy deals one target, two melee damage, and yeah, let's do that. And Baron Blade. Yeah, we're just going to focus on Baron Blade. We're going to not we're going to ignore the rest of it. And we'll galvanize. And it looks like Wraith is going to be the one to deal with this. So, we will use Mega Computer, just because we can. And use Razor Ordnance on the Baron. I think this might be enough to do it. Yep. Three lightning damage. But he's down. And there we go. We win, and all four of our guys are up and above 10 life. During some of the higher level guys, it gets a lot harder. So let's go to main menu. And that's pretty much Sentinels of the Multiverse, guys. Um, this is available on Steam right now. I'll leave a link down in the description. Really fun. And like I said, you can play with uh, multiple people if they have a copy of the game. Really good fun. If you like the video, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.